गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे दिस इज नुजहत सना एंड इन टूडे सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट करेंट अफेयर्स फॉर थर्टींथ ऑफ नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट की वर्ड्स विच वुड बी कवरिंग इन टूडे सेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडियन रोड्स कांग्रेस आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी वाई आइन एस विक्रांत केम इन टू न्यूज then we will see exercise austria hind is conducted is in between which two countries then we will talk about vindhyachal the first carbon tax site methanol plant has been inaugurated at which place after that we will see global ministerial conference uk's oldest satellite when do we observe the world immunization day and at last we will talk about ladki bahin yojana okay so it would be the overview of our today's session so now without taking any further time let's get started The first question is, where was the 83rd annual session of the Indian Roads Congress held? The correct answer is A option, Raipur, Chhattisgarh. The 83rd annual session of the Indian Roads Congress took place in Raipur, in Chhattisgarh. Here, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari inaugurated this four-day event, which ended on 11th of November. Okay. Here, our minister released three new guidelines and a manual on road construction and safety. More than 2,000 experts, scientists, and engineers have attended this event. 18 document on road construction and safety are under discussion, and the Congress sets the standards and guidelines for road and bridge infrastructure development. A highway research board meeting will focus on using the lab research. advanced technologies and sustainable practices participants include central and the state officials researchers iits and the private sector representative okay so simply you have to remember that the venue for 83rd edition of uh, indian road congress is raipur chatisgarh fine if we talk about indian roads congress when was it founded it was founded in the year 1934 then where is the headquarters of indian roads congress located headquarters lies in new delhi in india and also you can be asked that irc sets the standards for roads and bridges in india what does irc stand for so it stands for indian roads congress right talking about chatisgarh what is the capital of chatisgarh obviously it is raipur and chatisgarh was formed in which year it was formed in the year 2000 and which river is the longest in chatisgarh it is the mahanavi river fine In the next slide, we will be talking about some important summits and conferences that were in news in the past few months. Which organization will host the summit of the future on 22 to 23rd of September 2024? This organization is UNGA, United Nations General Assembly. Which country hosted the third meeting of the ASEAN India Trade in Goods Agreement? This is hosted by India. Recently where was the US led Indo Pacific Economic Framework Ministerial Meeting held answer here is Singapore recently where was the second edition of the India Sugar and Bioenergy Conference organized this conference was organized in New Delhi where was the 28th meeting of the Financial Stability and Development Council held answer is New Delhi again recently where was the first India Gulf Cooperation Council foreign ministers meeting held Answer is Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. Recently, where was the first meeting of the Joint Task Force on Investment between India and Qatar held? This meeting took place in New Delhi. The next question is, which shipyard built India's first indigenous aircraft carrier named as Vikrant? The correct answer is B option, Cochin Shipyard Limited. The President of India recently witnessed a demonstration on INS Vikrant. which is india's first indigenously designed and built aircraft carrier it is designed by indian navy's warship design bureau and it is constructed by cochin shipyard limited it basically strengthens india's position as a blue water navy with global reach joining the us russia france uk and china in the allied group that is capable of building the aircraft carrier right talking about the features the ship has a displacement of 43000 tons it has an endurance of 13890 km and it can accommodate up to 30 aircraft including the fighter jets and the helicopters also it uses the stobar method 
for aircraft operations fine so cochin shipyard limited built india's first indigenous aircraft carrier named as vikrant fine in the next slide we will be talking about some important science and technology related current affairs the first one is recently which institute has launched the longevity india initiative to support the aging research in india this is the institute iisc indian institute of science bangalore which country's space agency recently launched two iranian satellites the first one is kausar and second one is hudud into into the orbit this is the russia which institute recently developed an efficient method of hydrogen generation from methanol and formaldehyde combination this is iisr tirupati the full form here is indian institute of science education and research recently which iit have developed a nano sensor that is designed for the swift detection of cytokines proteins that are crucial in cell regulation this is iit jodhpur recently which space agency has successfully launched the advanced land observing satellite 4 to revolutionize the disaster management this is jaxa it is the japan based space agency government recently launched a mass drug administration campaign for which disease answer here is lymphatic pleurisis what is huntington's disease recently seen in the news it is a kind of an inherited disorder that causes nerve cells in parts of the brain to gradually break down and then uh, finally die okay question number 3 is where was bangalore's first digital population clock inaugurated this is an important question and bangalore's first digital population clock has been inaugurated at isec means institute for social economic change okay what is the use of this digital population clock it actually provides real time population estimate for karnataka and india and the project is a joint effort of isec and the union ministry of health and family welfare so the clock updates karnataka's population every minute 10 seconds and india's population in every 2 seconds it aims to raise awareness about the population dynamics and support the research similar clocks will be installed at 18 population research centers in india it is equipped with satellite connection advanced software and tools also it will enhance the demographic studies and policy analysis fine So the first digital population clock of Bangalore has been inaugurated at Institute for Social Economic Change right Talking about the state Karnataka which is the famous traditional dance that originated from Karnataka and it is performed during the festivals and religious occasion this is the Yakshagana festival and which UNESCO World Heritage site is located in Karnataka it is the Hampi it is very famous right Now in the next slide we will be talking about some national news. The first question is recently Ministry of Rural Development signed a memorandum of understanding with which institute to formalize their partnership in applications of geospatial technology and artificial intelligence. This is IIT Delhi. Recently Union Home Minister inaugurated PM College of Excellence in which Indian state it has been inaugurated in Madhya Pradesh. Recently which ministry has announced the implementation of GNSS based electronic toll collection system in India answer is Ministry of Road Transport and Highways Recently which state launched the school on wheels initiative this initiative belongs to Manipur Recently where was the center for in situ and correlative microscopy inaugurated the center has been inaugurated at IIT Hyderabad Recently the Armed Forces Medical Services signed a memorandum of understanding with which IIT to collaborate on research and training this is IIT Hyderabad again Jav Gramam campaign which is a new initiative to promote organic farming recently launched in which Indian state this campaign has been launched to promote organic farming and recently it has been launched in Kerala state Now next one is exercise Austria Hind is conducted between India and which other country So basically the third edition of this joint military exercise Austria Hind recently started on 8th of November at the foreign training node in Pune in the state of Maharashtra it is an annual exercise that is held alternatively between India and Australia if you remember the last edition was held in Australia in December 2023 
सो द इंडियन कंटिजेंट इंक्लूडेड वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी पर्सनल मेनली फ्रॉम द डोगरा रेजिमेंट एंड द इंडियन एयरफोर्स एंड एक्सरसाइज एम्स टू इनहेंस द मिलिट्री कॉपरेशन एंड इंटर ऑपरेबिलिटी फॉर ज्वाइंट सब कन्वेंशनल ऑपरेशन इन सेमी अर्बन सेमी डेजर्ट टेरेन अंडर द यूनाइटेड नेशन चैप्टर सेवन सो ड्रिल्स इंक्लूड काउंटर टेरिज्म ऑपरेशन ज्वाइंट रेड्स ड्रोन यूसेज एंड स्पेशल हेली बॉर्न ऑपरेशन ऑल्सो इट प्रमोट्स द एक्सचेंज ऑफ बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस इन टैक्टिकल ऑपरेशन राइट सो ऑस्ट्रा हिंद एक्सरसाइज इज कंडक्टेड इन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड दिस इयर द वेन्यू फॉर ऑस्ट्रा हिंद इज ऑल्सो इंडिया फाइन इन द नेक्स्ट लाइफ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सम डिफेंस करेंट अफेयर्स द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज Recently, India delivered the Brahmos supersonic cruise missiles to which country? Recently, we have de delivered the Brahmos missiles to the country Philippines. Tejas light combat aircraft is developed by which organization? It is developed by DRDO. Which Indian Navy ships recently completed their visit to Manila, Philippines, as part of the operational deployment of the Indian Navy's Eastern Fleet to the South China Sea? These ships are INS Delhi, INS Shakti, and INS Kildan. Recently, which city is being established by the armed forces as the country's first, India's first tri-service common defence station? This is the city of Mumbai. What is the role of our defence attached recently seen in the news? What is the role of it? So, its role is to represent the country's defence establishment in foreign embassies. Recently, where was the state-of-the-art IT laboratory inaugurated by Chief of the Army Staff? This is Uzbekistan country. What is C-130J Super Hercules recently seen in the news? So these are turboprop military transport aircraft. Okay. Question number five is, which organization launched the world's first carbon dioxide to methanol conversion plant at Vindhyachal? The correct answer is D option, National Thermal Power Corporation (NTPC). It is India's largest power producer. and recently it inaugurated the world's first carbon dioxide to methanol conversion plant at its vindhyachal facility on its 50th raising day so ntpc chairman uh, gurdeep singh called it a historic milestone in carbon management and sustainable fuel production and now the company is working on the green technologies like generation 4 ethanol green urea and sustainable aviation fuel also ntpc developed and tested India's first indigenous catalyst for methanol synthesis and also the company has made progress in hydrogen carbon capture and other innovative technologies during the event NTPC launched hydrogen fueled buses in Leh and some new IT applications as well okay so NTPC means National Thermal Power Corporation has launched the world's first carbon dioxide to methanol conversion plant at which place at uh, Vindhyachal fine Now, in which year was the NTPC founded, and what was its original purpose? So, it was founded in 1975. Basic aim was to accelerate power generation in India, right? Now, in the next slide, we will be talking about some environment and biodiversity-related news. The first question is: A Sola Bharti Wildlife Sanctuary, which was seen in the news, lies on which mountain range? This wildlife sanctuary is found to be on Aravalli Ranges. Next is Ayatollah Longirotsis belongs to which species? This is not at all uh, important, but still you can see the answer. It is the uh, snake species. Monsoon Croaks uh, Bio Blitz 2024 recently organized in which Indian state? This event took place in Kar Kerala. Which institute recently conducted a study on coral bleaching in the Lakshadweep Sea? This is Indian Council of Agricultural Research, Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute. Bhoj wetland is located in which Indian state it lies in Madhya Pradesh Palamau tiger reserve is located in which Indian state it lies in Jharkhand Satyamangalam tiger reserve is located in which Indian state it lies in Tamil Nadu okay Question number 6 is where was the global ministerial conference on ending violence against children held So this was the first such global ministerial conference on ending violence against children that took place in Bogote in the country Colombia and the conference was hosted by colombia along with sweden in partnership with unicef who and the united nations special representative on ending the violence against children so violence against children includes physical emotional and sexual abuse also it affects half of the world's child population with corporal punishment impacting 3 out of 5 children at home 
so violence is often hidden with fewer than half of affected children reporting it and less than 10% receive the help okay and this report was given by the world health organization so what was the venue for global ministerial conference on ending the violence against children answer is bogota in colombia can you tell me what does the acronym unicef stand for so the full form is united nations international children's emergency fund right in the next slide we will be talking about some important conferences that were in news in the past few months the first question is recently which institute hosted the all india research scholar summit 2024 answer is iit madras which country will host the 81st edition of iata annual general meeting and world air transport summit in delhi india on 8th to 10th of june 2025 this is the country india recently there was the second edition of india australia indonesia trilateral maritime security workshop conducted answer is kochi in the state of kerala Recently there was the 5th edition of joint group of customs meeting between India and Bhutan held answer is Ladakh Recently there was the 12th edition of international meeting of high ranking officials responsible for security matters held this is St Petersburg in Russia Recently there was the 3rd annual conference on MND awareness care and management held this conference took place in Nimhans in Bangalore Recently where was the responsible use of artificial intelligence in the military domain summit started this summit started in Seoul okay Now question number 7 is what is the name of the UK's oldest satellite that has recently been moved without any record The correct answer is A option is Skynet 1A okay It was launched in 1969 and it was the very first satellite to revolutionize the UK telecommunication system originally it was positioned over the eastern africa but later it was found at 105 degrees west longitude and it raised the concerns about the space debris and potential collisions with active satellite so despite its significance the details of its relocation remain totally unclear prompting the discussions about the space sustainability and the management of defunct satellites UK government is now considering the actions or measures to safely remove or reposition such type of space debris fine so UK's oldest satellite is Skynet 1A and recently it has been moved without any record fine in the next slide let's talk about some important countries that came into news the first one is What is the primary purpose of the kafala system recently seen in the news basic objective of kafala system is to regulate the relationships between employers and the migrant workers with southeast asian country has recently released a special stamp set that includes a stamp on lord rama of ayodhya uh, yesterday we have discussed this question and the correct answer is laos Recently which country has become the latest and the 119th nation to join the ISA International Solar Alliance it is the Malta country and uh, headquarters of ISA lies in Gurugram in the state of Haryana Recently India and Bangladesh launched the inaugural trial movement of vessels between which two ports this is Maya port and Sultanganj port Recently which country's former prime minister has been elected as the president of the upcoming 79th session of the united nations general assembly this is the country cameroon recently which country has assumed the chair of asian disaster preparedness center for 2024 to 2025 this is the country india and last one is what is the primary objective of colombo security conclave recently seen in the news so basic objective is to promote the regional security by addressing the transnational threat okay also don't forget uh, that uh, the president of the 79th session of united nation general assembly is philemon yang and he is from the country cameroon okay question number 8 is which day is observed as world immunization day every year the correct answer is 10th of november world immunization day is observed every year on 10th of november basically it raises awareness about the importance of vaccines in preventing the diseases talking about immunization it is cost effective in, and it saves millions of lives also it reduces the diseases like measles polio tb and also covid 19 vaccines uh, strengthen the community health through herd immunity protecting both individuals and populations and the day encourages extending the vaccine access 
especially to the underserved groups and in India challenges exist in reaching the remote areas and many children remain partially or totally unimmunized. So India's initiatives like the Universal Immunization Program and Mission Indra Dhanush have significantly reduced the disease rates and child mortality. Fine. So World Immunization Day is observed every year on 10th of November. In the next slide, let's talk about some important days and events. The first question is, what is the theme of Zero Discrimination Day 2024? So the theme is to protect everyone's health, protect everyone's rights. If you ask that when do we observe the Zero Discrimination Day, so we celebrate this day on 1st of March annually. What is the theme of International Day of Sign Languages 2024? The theme was sign up for sign language rights and uh, when do we observe the International Day for Sign Languages? So every year we observe the International Day of Sign Languages on 23rd of September. Okay. Young Scientist Program or you can say UVICA is conducted by which one of the following? It is conducted by ISRO. What is the theme of International Museum Day 2024? The theme was Museums for Education and Research. When do we observe the International Museum Day? So we celebrate uh, this day on 18th of May annually, right? Next is where was the 5th Global Standard Symposium inaugurated? This symposium was inaugurated in New Delhi. Recently, President of India Draupadi Murmu inaugurated a two-day homeopathic symposium at which place? Answer here is again New Delhi. Recently, where was the 7th Indian Coast Guard Subordinate Officers Conclave inaugurated? This conclave was inaugurated in New Delhi. Fine. Question number 9 is Ladki Bahim Yojana is associated with which Indian state? The correct answer is A option Maharashtra. The Ladki Bahin Yojana is launched by the Mahayuti government of Maharashtra and under it, uh, this Yojana provides a monthly stipend of 1500 rupees to the underprivileged women who are aged 21 to 65 years of age group with an annual family income cap of 2.5 lakh rupees. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi highlighted the significance of this scheme during a rally in Nashik and it emphasizes uh, the government's commitment to women's empowerment and this initiative is part of a broader agenda where they are trying to uplift the marginalized communities and enhance the social welfare in the state especially ahead of the upcoming assembly, assembly elections right so ladki behin yojana is associated with maharashtra state in the next slide we will be talking about important schemes that were in news the first question is which state or the union territory recently launched the Isai Kudil scheme to enhance the music and dance education in the government school? The correct answer is Puducherry. PM Vishwakarma scheme that was recently seen in the news comes under which ministry? So this scheme functions under Ministry of MSME, Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. Ulla's initiative is related to which one of the following sectors? This initiative is related to education sector. This department is responsible for managing the Vigyan Thara scheme recently seen in the news. Answer is Department of Science and Technology. Recently, which ministry launched the Swayam Plus platform? It was launched by Ministry of Education. Which state government recently launched Mukhi Mantri Nagar Unnayan Prakalp scheme? This scheme belongs to Tripura. And last is Ames Jammu was recently established under which government scheme? It functions under Pradhan Mantri. Swasti Suraksha Yojana. Okay. Now, last question is which Indian hockey player won the Fitch Player of the Year for 2024? The correct answer is B option Harman Preet Singh. Indian men's hockey team captain Harman Preet Singh and former goalkeeper PR Srijesh won the Fitch Player of the Year and the Goalkeeper of the Year titles respectively for 2024. And the awards were presented at the 49th Fitch Statutory Congress in Oman. Talking about Harman Preet, he is a two-time Olympic bronze medalist and he received more than 63% of the votes, while PR Rajesh polled over 62% of the votes. So winners were chosen through votes from an expert panel, national hockey associations, fans and media. And Fitch is the global governing body for hockey and the headquarter lies in Lausanne in Switzerland, right? So Harman Preet Singh recently won the Fitch Player of the Year for 2024, while PR Srijesh won the Goalkeeper of the Year title for 2024, right? 
In the last slide, we'll be talking about some sport-related news. The first question is: Recently, who has made history by becoming the first Indian to be elected as the president of the Olympic Council of Asia? This is Ranveer Singh. Recently, world's highest competition pool has been opened in which country? This pool has been opened in Bhutan country. Recently, where was the 33rd edition of the Olympics started? Answer is Paris. Recently, who won the national women's carom title for the 12th time? This is Rashmi Kumari. Student Cup is associated with which sport? It is related to football. Which country hosts the inaugural Kho Kho World Cup in 2025? Answer here is India. Which country won the men's Asian Hockey Champions Trophy 2024? The winner country is India. Okay. So this is all about today's session. we are done with our 10 current affairs for today along with the revision part and now at last i'd like to give you some homework as usual and today your homework is related to the government schemes on the screen you can see seven questions and many times we have discussed all these questions now it's your turn to attempt all these questions please read each of the question carefully and try to answer them in the comment section i'll be waiting for your answers and now before concluding let me again remind you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application so if you want the pdf of the lecture you can subscribe to that course by paying a very nominal fees so now we will be meeting tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this meenu jhatsana signing off